this is Madeline Stemmer, Wealth Advisor with Bernie Wealth Management. On Monday, September 13th, the House Ways and Means Committee released their proposal for tax code changes under the American Families Plan. The goal of these changes would be to generate $2.9 trillion in revenue over the next 10 years and would be included in the Budget Reconciliation Bill. In anticipation of those proposed changes, I wanted to take some time to review how these changes might affect you and your family. The key theme to note with these proposals is that unless you make more than $400,000 as a single filer and more than $450,000 as a married filing jointly filer, you may not notice much of a material difference to your tax situation whatsoever. Uh, however, for single filers with more than $400,000 uh, of income and married filing jointly filers with more than $450,000, of income, the following proposed changes would apply directly to you. So in terms of income tax changes, um, an increase to the top marginal tax rate from 37% to 39.6%, which would kick in at the previously stated income levels. Uh, Roth contributions and traditional IRA contributions would no longer be allowed for those at those income levels uh, if they're Roth or traditional IRA balances total more than $10 million as of December 31st of the prior year. There would also be a 3% additional tax on income uh, with uh, taxpayers that have modified adjusted gross income above $5 million. There would be no change to the current state and local tax or SALT deduction, uh, which is currently capped at $10,000 and significantly impacts those in higher income states. Um, Backdoor Roth IRA contributions would no longer be eligible as of January 1st, 2022, and Roth conversions would no longer be allowed beginning 2032 for those with income over $400,000 as a single filer and $450,000 uh, as married filing jointly. In terms of proposed changes to capital gains taxes, uh, they are proposing an increase uh, for the top long-term capital gains bracket from 20% to 25%. Uh, this change would actually be effective as of September 13th, 2021. Again, for those with income over $400,000 as a single filer and $450,000 married filing jointly. Uh, if this would apply to you, the way this would work is you would effectively have to make two capital gains calculations, one for any gains realized prior to September 13th, 2021, and then a second calculation for any gains realized after September 30, 13th, 2021. Uh, in terms of changes to estate taxes, uh, the estate tax exemption would be cut in half, essentially reverting back to the 2010 level of roughly $6 million for each individual starting in 2022. Uh, essentially, this would come to about $12 million for married filers. Again, I want to make it very clear that these are just proposals. They still have a long road ahead of them before becoming law. Uh, but if you would like to schedule some time um, you know, with a member of the Bernie team to discuss these proposals in more detail and how they might impact you and your family, please reach out to Bernie Wealth Management today. We'd be happy to have a conversation. Thank you.